Hey guys, this is Murdoch. Got another review for you. Um, this is going to be the Cold Steel Trail Boss uh, Tomahawk slash Camp Axe. Um, <laughs> we probably should call it the American Tomahawk Company Trail Boss since that is the company that actually makes the uh, the head of the axe. Um, yeah. I guess they just decided to, uh, well, they still got their logo on it there. Um, I don't know why they did that. 1055 high carbon steel, um, drop forged head, uh, 23 inches overall. Um, let's see if I can get it all in the shot there. Uh, this is how it came to me, right out of the box. I mean, I got a cardboard box with a plastic bag, and inside that bag was an axe. Um, genuine hickory handle. Um, they give you this uh, this little protective cover here for the axe. I guess they ship it that way so they don't, nobody hurts themselves. Um, it actually looks like the uh, the head of the axe is actually covered in some kind of clear coat. Um, that's probably to protect it from rusting. I know I'll, uh, before I ordered this, I was looking at uh, reviews of this axe, and people were complaining that it came in the mail that it had rust. Um, here on the on the edge, um, not a big deal to me, especially for an axe. I mean, my goodness, the, I mean, the first time you use an axe, it's pretty much going to start rusting if it had any moisture in it. Um, but all in all, it's I mean, it's a pretty good construction of the axe. Um, I'm trying. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. I doubt you'll be able to see this. Um, the the head is forged, and then you know the hickory is is put up through here. It looks like they have almost wood shimmed it into place. Um, that there, there may be a metal stud or a nail of some sort in there, but they've actually covered it with this black paint um, that they painted it with. So you can't really tell exactly how they've got it in there. Um, this is just kind of a first look at this at this axe. I haven't done any work with it yet. I've got a, a big outing project that I'm going to get a lot of the. Uh, the stuff that I've been reviewing, we'll put it through the test. Um, edge is pretty good. Um, you know, you don't want it too sharp for an axe; it'll just break off. It's, it's a pretty good edge. It looks like it'll really bite into something and take out quite a bit of pieces of uh, wood when it does, which is exactly what I was wanting. Um, you know, I've got a big axe and I've got machetes. But something smaller like this, you can work in tighter quarters. You know, especially where I'm going, there's going to be a lot of bush, and um, you know, it's you want something smaller like this to where you can work in tighter, tighter areas. Um, but yeah, that's it. The trail balls from Cold Steel. Um, I like it. I like the I like the design of it. I like the the length of it. Um, We'll put it through its paces, and I'll, I'll give a feedback report, and we'll see how it works. But uh, that's it. Um, don't be afraid about the rusting. You know, it's an axe, guys. It, you know, so what if it comes with rust? You know, I'm sure you're going to have your sallies out there that, oh, it's got a little rust on it, blah, 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 or whatever. Dude, it's just rust. Sand it down. You can even clear coat it again if you wanted to. Um, it's an axe. It's meant to be used. Um pretty good construction though so that's it not much on this one appreciate it we'll see y'all later